10, 10 over 10. Congratulations, Ninja FM 102.7. Naija FM 102.7 Lagos is one of the biggest and well-recognized indigenous radio stations in Nigeria. 2010, in Lagos, the station went on air. The visionary minds of the managing director, Chris Ubosi, and a hub of the management team brought the station to life and it has grown with other branches opened in other cities in Nigeria, namely Ipato and Potarket. Um, the time we, we want to start Niger FM, when we look the whole market, we just see, say, you know, there is no station, no day way, where the where the ginger people, where they talk to the local man in a in a way where you understand. And we look at, you know, we get classic FM and beat FM that time, but we say we need something where we could just connect, connect to our people out there. We can't do small research, we can't see that gap the market now we just we say make we plug into our man, you know. Ten years ago when we started, um, there was a great deal of thinking that went into setting up Niger FM. And this thinking was informed by the desire to set up um, a radio station that was very popular and had uh, massive mass appeal. Before now, before Niger FM started really, we would notice that a lot of broadcasting houses have commenced but they were broadcasting for either indigenous languages or for the English language. And we felt that a huge population of Nigerians speak Pidgin language. So there was this need to create a station who would broadcast to them via music, via programs and others. So we are able to reach this population of Nigerians. In October 1st, 2010, Niger FM 102.7 commenced live broadcast after two months' test transmission to the Lagos public with seven on-air personalities, namely Osam, who is currently the program's director, Godwin Aruwayo, known as the first voice, Lady J, Ladani, Effective, Sabina, and Ife Dafe. Out of these original seven, four of these OAPs, 10 years after, are still with the station. Other OAPs currently with the station include OTP, R&B, Becca Bliss, Timmy Tokbe Chikese, and Amaka Tomato Joss, who joined in intermittently over the years. Well, I didn't choose myself as an OAP, but uh, I still have to say till now, I don't even know how I got here. It was just uh, by sheer chance and grace because of the fact that I got um, a text message to say, come and drop a voice at Ninja FM or rather at a particular studio. And I came here and when I got to the studio, the next thing was, do your voice i dropped my voice and in two days they called me i was just like that and i said I, I thought i was doing a voiceover stuff they said no we love your voice you are the kind of person that we want to work in Nigeria fm because of the way you handle the pigeon english well that's what they say the matter nowadays so tell years after the station also had oaps who passed through it in the likes of comedians osh bebe and ajepo also florence najomo moyo farawe with Tamama. We look for individuals with talent, passion, um, and, and the capability to do the hard work of, of getting the station up and running. You know, radio looks very glamorous on the outside, but it's a lot of hard work. And so we wanted people who, who had a genuine passion um, for it and, and good work ethic. Um, we're very particular about the quality of the talent. Um, so that was non-negotiable and we looked out for, for presenters with personality um, that radio listeners would engage with um, and, and, and essentially people who um, necessarily didn't have a radio experience, we were quite confident in our internal ability to kind of, you know, build them up to, to the standard that we wanted. Niger FM 102.7 prides itself as the headquarters of Nigerian core hit songs, indigenous classic songs, music from African artists, and tunes from Nigerians in diaspora. 
Nanga FM today is a very popular radio station and is mostly known for its music. Nanga FM plays the music that is very indigenous in outlook. We play Nigerian music and African music. And then apart from that, Nanga FM is known for as a station that seeks to inform, educate and entertain uh, Nigerians on um, indigenous art and culture. Owned by Megalectrics Nigeria Limited, a broadcast organization which has multiple radio franchises in Lagos, Ibadan, Patakot, Abuja, and London. Niger FM 102.7 has uniquely developed its hybrid station, branding as a pigeon speaking station. So Niger FM was formed to meet the needs of the audience in the lower end of the market, you know, it's a pidgin language station. So it's, it's basically it was formed to meet the needs of everybody. From right from the upper end to the lower end, anybody who enjoys good pidgin English, I know that was one of the key objectives was to be entertaining. So I believe we've, we've um, established ourselves as an entertaining station. Every time you tune in, there's something interesting going on. There's some, there's some excitement on the station, so yeah, I think we've we've um, achieved that. The station's main focus is on giving listeners world-class broadcasting anchored on entertainment, information, and education using the country's unofficial lingua franca, pidgin English, with occasional infusion of various local dialects. Over the years, Niger FM has established itself as a 24-hour broadcast station which interacts with her listeners, setting up different events along the way. You know, this is a matter of song in your head. If you're prominent, you'll be the major guy with the day. If they're not seeing you, that person is blind. Niger FM 102.7 is the first Nigerian radio station to have a Niger FM fan club. It has been prolific with events, such as the only comedy awards show in Nigeria, tagged Niger FM Comedy Jams and Awards Night, which is held yearly since 2012. And the winner is Kenny Black. <laughs> with other events like Niger FM Jersey Jump. Rap Shakabula. Valentine's Karaoke Competition, as well as the NYSC Niger FM Concert in collaboration with our sister stations. All of these were held yearly since 2012. I feel excited. I feel excited to be part of a vision that have come true. I feel excited to note that a seed that was sown 10 years ago have blossomed into a very mighty Uroko. As we celebrate 10 years now, I did really happy and I did grateful to God and to everybody where they work with the station. And of course, in the next 10 years, the greater, greater height for Nigeria FM. Truthfully, I'm just grateful and happy to be a part of the journey. It's amazing that it's already been 10 years. We are now one of the most recognizable and um, respected brands. Very, very proud of what has been achieved in 10 years. I'd be happy to say, after 10 years, if I look where I did now, compared to where I'm from, they come. And, uh, I just spent too much now. We like picking where you born, where they, where they grow, where they do well. You know, 10 years, I mean, we, we are out of the staff, we start with us for 10 years. We still get like 80%, 90% of them, you know. So it shows that we are doing something right and, you know. It was a tough start. However, the consistency, the determination of a creative team, A big fan base and great hit music has led Niger FM 102.7 10 years on to be the most authoritative hybrid radio station in Nigeria. After all, now we radio. There ain't no other who can make it go flow to the fullest like the brother who's busting now. I'm spitting rounds of bullets. It's your son, it's your mind. And I'm shaking the nation, causing vibration with the very best now. Better pay attention. Ever wonder where to get the best flows? At the station that will put you on the know and to call your own? Yay! Nigeria FM, 102.7, yeah, we're making sense, huh? Lyrics and rhythm, we busting out the speakers when it comes to entertainment, of course. We they deliver, feel the vibes in the air as we they go into space. Many people join the race, but often meet up the pace. And they wonder why we fly high on information, no matter the situation. Bringing news across the nation like, yay! 
Enjoy FM 102.7, yeah, we're making sense.